Good morning, everyone. It got down into the 20s again last night, and I lost one of uh, Fru Fru's babies. Um, I brought Juniper's uh, baby bunnies inside again last night. Unfortunately, one of them was already um, dying. I put it into the incubator to heat it up, and it didn't make it. So, it really sucks, but... It is what it is. I'm glad that the other five were alive and well. Um, it probably was the coldest from the night before. And um, it just wasn't strong enough to pull out of that um, state of um, near death. So, I am just out here um, checking on everybody. And Juniper pulled some fur last night. She pulled some fur because it was cold, which means that she really wants her babies to be warm. So it's not at her fault. Um, but I'm about to bring her babies back out here to give to her. This is what my guinea pigs' cages look like. You can see him in there. <laughs> but I stuffed it with hay so that they would be underneath the hay. And that is keeping them warm. So, alright, so, she's feeding them, They're, she's letting them eat, which is good. So, again, I think that one that passed away was just, uh, just too weak. Um, it had an eight yesterday, which makes me believe that it just wasn't strong enough to pull through. So, she's nursing these little babies. And preferably they all make it. I don't know what the weather is supposed to be like tonight. But if it gets down real cold again, they'll come back inside. They were nursing me. She said, do you have the milk? No, that's not your mama. Go get her. And that big old bunny's her foster. They're hungry. I have a Flemish giant doe that I got not long ago. Her name is Polly. She actually pulled fur last night and night before last because she thought that her babies were going to be cold. However, she's actually not due until next Sunday. But you can see how big she is. All the does that she has are spoken for already. So hopefully she throws a bunch of girls because lots of people want them. This will be her first litter with us. And she is... Uh, She's big. She's a big girl. She's bigger than Lolly. So, hoping for some nice babies from her. It's in the evening now. I'm doing some chores. Everybody's fed and watered. I just want to show y'all what her babies look like. I did lose that one last night that I'm kind of upset about, but... They are very warm. It's going to get down to like 36 tonight. So, I shouldn't have to bring them in. But, if I come out and feel like they're cold, I will. This is her little harlequin. You can see that it's getting some color on it. A little bit of color. It might be a broken, but I think it's a harlequin. Probably a blue fawn harlequin. And here is a little probably broken black or broken caster. They're nice and fat. 
You can see that white in the belly. If y'all can see that right here. That white right there is milk. The sun's kind of bright. But and this one. This one doesn't look like it was fed much, if at all. But probably a caster even though I want it to not be a caster so here's the last one oh, and it's dead okay I'm gonna hold her and get her to nurse this one because it's a bit wrinkly and then I just found that baby dead so I'm gonna make sure that this one eats since this one probably didn't Okay, so right now I'm just holding Juniper. This is her little baby. I'm holding her upside down. I'm cradling her. The most important thing is that I keep her calm and still because she could kick her feet and literally throw this baby across the yard. Um, I've seen it happen several times where people post that um, their moms jumped and the baby flew. Um, so I'm just being very careful and I'm allowing this baby to nurse as much as it wants to until that I see its belly full. Um, it's feeling like she doesn't have a whole lot of milk, um, which can happen the first couple of days that um, in the baby's life where the mama hasn't produced actual milk yet. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that I'm giving this baby as much extra time nursing as I possibly can. The other three babies look perfectly healthy and fat. Um, I did just find that dead baby in her box. However, it's been two nights now where they got down to where they were chilled. And so I'm not surprised that we lost two of them. Alright, so I just noticed. Um, you can see that it has milk in its belly now. I don't know if you can see that. Sophia's recording, but it's got milk in its belly. You can see the white in its belly. So it is getting something. I can express milk from her. So it is getting that milk that it needs. I'm going to let it nurse until it's done. Or until it looks like it's about to pop. And then I'll put it back in the nesting box. And it'll provide enough. The milk in its belly will provide enough heat for it. Um, to continue to survive. Thanks for watching everybody.